Prism is an awesome alternative to other live streaming tools, especially for new streamers who are gonna love all the tools and the ease of use. Today I'm gonna show you how to build a game stream quick and easy using built-in Prism tools. Hello my YouTube friends, we're gonna build a complete gaming live stream today. And we're gonna do it using Prism Live Studio in less than 10 minutes. So we're gonna go from absolutely nothing to ready to stream in 10 minutes. You can't beat that. So you know what? Let's get to it. Okay, once you get signed in with Prism Live Studio, this is basically what you're gonna see. We've got our scenes down here, our sources, our audio mixer, and our preview screen. There is nothing that you need to do in settings at this moment to get us ready to stream. What I am gonna do is show you the one thing that you should always do on a new setup. And go ahead and click there, and we're gonna go to our visual. We're gonna scroll down to the bottom, and we're gonna change this from thumbnail to text. And we're gonna click apply. And that's gonna save all kinds of clock cycles because it's not gonna put a little thumbnail icon here. And I'm gonna move this up over here. And now we're ready to set everything up. So we have our first scene. We're gonna go ahead and just modify the name of this and we'll call it coming soon. And we're gonna add a source to this. We're gonna click the plus and we're gonna go into a background template and we'll just call this coming soon, coming soon V for coming soon video. And we're gonna select this little moon right there or planet, that looks pretty good. Now we're gonna add prism chat and we don't need to really be much more specific than that. We can add any one of these chat styles. We can change our font size pretty simply. I'm gonna click OK. We're gonna add it in here. We're just gonna move this over here to the right. And the last thing that I wanna do, we're gonna add a clock widget. And this is gonna be a countdown timer. We can select which one we want. Let's select that one. We're gonna go in here and we're gonna call it countdown. Let's call it starting soon. And instead we're gonna have it be a timer and it automatically puts up text there. All right, so we can have sound effects, not sound effects. It's set to one minute, we can make it whatever we want. We have our timer control and the start text and we can set this up, our, our background color to whatever we want. So let's use this baby blue there can make it as transparent or whatever as we like. And I like that, that looks pretty good. And we can just start it and we'll click okay. And what we're gonna do is just embiggen this like that, put it right there. So you can, call, you can pause these by right clicking and going into the timer control, clicking pause. You can also obviously resume them pretty easily. And when this runs out, it's going to say it's time to stream. Make it a little bit smaller. And all of the timers work basically the same way. And now we've got our start screen ready to go. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add another screen. And let's call this one the live screen. Live main, I like that. And we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna add a prism camera. And we'll just call this camera and click OK. And we're gonna use the HDMI one. We are going to, we're going to go ahead and remove the background here. And you're gonna see it's a little wonky. And that is mostly because of my lighting, but that's okay. Because what we're gonna do is shrink this up down here. We're gonna make it super small. And we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna add our background template. We're gonna slap that right here. We're gonna use the same coming soon one. We'll move it down below our camera. So there we are. So now you can see why the little shoulder thing or whatever isn't that big a deal because we're nice and small anyways. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna add our chat in here as well. We can use the same one so we don't have to create multiple assets. And so for our main chatting screen, this is kind of what we would get. Next thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and add a game screen. Likes and comments are super easy things that you can do to help push this video to a wider audience. So take a second down below and let me know how I'm doing. And while you're there, if you're not subscribed, please do. It really does help me continue to make content that helps you, so thanks. And first let's go back to our coming soon screen. You can see we have no audio here at all. 
So let's add some audio. We're gonna go in here and I'm gonna add a video or music and we're gonna call this intro. You can download your intro music from lots of different places. YouTube has music that you can get. I'm gonna use my own music, something that I did like my first week on YouTube. We just need to find it. There it is, click open. We wanna loop it and boom. So now on our screen, our intro music is gonna play. We can adjust it so it's not too loud. The other thing that we can add to the starting soon screen is an audio visualizer. And let's just use, let's use this one here. That works. And we'll click. Okay, we're gonna use our intro music. And boom. And we'll just put this down here, right along the bottom. And let's modify it just a little bit. And there we go. We scroll down here. You can see that's pretty much exactly what we're looking for. So we can select a different color too. So we can go with kind of like the dull yellow that I use for just about everything. And there we go. That looks pretty cool. Now it's going to be bouncing along to my music, making our coming soon screen just a little bit cooler. Put this all the way down at the bottom and stretch it all the way to the edges. There we go. So now our coming soon screen is great. Our main live screen where we get to talk to our audience is good. Let's set up our game screen. The first thing I'm gonna do once again is add our prism camera. We already have it set up, so I'm just gonna select it and boom, put it in there. I'm gonna put it down here in the lower right hand corner. We have gotta add our game. As you can see, the prism camera already adds our audio. We don't have to do any of that. To add our game, we're gonna do a monitor capture. You can also do a game capture. This works sometimes. I find it a lot easier to just do a monitor capture and we'll call this one game. And we're gonna go ahead and select the game monitor, which is this one right here. I'm gonna click, you can select your capture method and all that stuff. Whatever looks best for you is fine. We wanna capture our cursor as well and we'll stretch this out and there we go. Just make sure we get those edges covered. We'll pull it down below our camera and we're all set there. I wanna go ahead and just move this up a little bit because what we wanna do is add some audio. Now for this, we wanna use our application audio capture and you may not have this activated. So if you don't, you're gonna to wanna to go up here and you're gonna to wanna to go to your Prism Lab and just make sure that application audio capture is enabled. And then once that's enabled, you're gonna be able to go and click the plus, select application audio capture, click okay, and we'll call this game audio. And we're gonna click okay. And we're gonna click the plus right here. And we're going to select our game right there. Click okay and okay. And you can see we don't have any game audio coming in, but if I select the game, then the game audio comes on. So whenever I'm playing the game, the audio is gonna play. When I click off the game, you can see the audio goes away. So it's perfect. We're gonna get the audio when we're playing and you wanna make sure that you adjust your audio levels down here so they are sufficient, so your voice is heard and the game audio is heard and all that good stuff. Once you have all that set up, our game screen is set up, we're ready to go. So what other scenes do we need? Well, let's do a stream ended. And we're gonna click OK. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna use that same background template as the coming soon. There we go. And what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and use our text template. And I really like this one here, but we can use the shaking titles. That works pretty good too. We'll just move this all the way up like that and put it in the center here. And what I'm gonna do is go ahead and right click Go to properties and we're gonna go to detailed settings. I'm gonna change up my font here and we wanna make sure that it's bold. We'll change the font size so we can see it a little better. And we're gonna go with stream ended. Then all we have to do is go ahead and select all of this stuff up. We're gonna go with the blue that I always use and we're gonna go with a background. Let's do that. Let's do a background and we'll do that dull yellow background. There we go. And what we can do now is add a little bit of an outline and we're going to adjust the opacity on our background a little bit so that it fades better into the background. So 
we have a little bit of that yellow, but not a lot. And then we can adjust how fast our text wiggles. And there we go. So now we've got a stream ended. We could put our chat in here as well if we wanted to. There is another cool feature that I like to do. We're gonna go back to the background template and we're gonna add something over top. Click OK. And what we're gonna do is go and we're gonna add some of this snowfall here. I like that snowfall, that's pretty cool. And that that's actually right in front of everything. We're gonna go back to the coming soon screen and we're gonna go ahead and add in the same background. So we'll go to background template and we'll select our over top and click on that. And now our stream is all set up. We've got coming soon. We've got our screen where we can chat to the audience. We've got our game screen on here with our audio and our stream is ended. There really isn't anything else we need. We are ready to go live. The last piece we should have to do is setting up our setup. And the beautiful thing is that Prism does it all for you once you log in and you've already connected your account. All you have to do is go right here to this little exclamation point and you select where you want to stream to, in my case, YouTube. You click apply now and you're already set up. All you have to do is click go live and you will go live on your platform of choice. It's really that quick. It does everything for you. You should have the optimum settings. Super easy. If you want to learn how to build the transition stinger that I show you in this video, well, all you have to do is check this video out right here. Big thanks to today's sponsor, Prism Live Studio. You can find their links and links to all my other sponsors down below in the description under the heading sponsors. I couldn't do this without them or you, so thanks. And if you're always looking for tools, tips, and tricks that can help make you a better live streamer or YouTuber, subscribe to the channel. My name is Michael Fire Jr. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.